here we have a spatial 3D hexagon A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 which has been constructed so that the opposite sides A1, A2, A4, A5, A3, A4 and A6, A1 are parallel. Not only are they parallel, uh, they are also equal. So this is a 3D parallelohexagon with opposite sides equal and parallel. We shall now investigate the properties of the figure by dragging and manipulating it a little bit so that we can get a better sense of its 3D nature. Uh, as you can see, we can rotate the figure and we can also drag the points to change uh, the shape, uh, as you can see there. We can, of course, subdivide the 3D parallelohexagon in two other ways by connecting the opposite sides A1, A2 and A4, A5 instead so that it looks like this. And here I am rotating it to show uh, the same figure but just with different planes subdivided into a parallelogram and two triangular uh, segment planes. We can also divide it up obviously but I'm not going to show that uh, by connecting A1, A6 with A3, A4 and then hiding this one so that we get another perspective of it. So we can divide it up in three different ways using the opposite uh, sides that are equal and parallel. Basically, the 3D parallelohexagon consists of three parallelograms lying on three different planes intersecting in a common point, which is the center of symmetry. I have, in this figure, shaded the three different parallelograms uh, to try and indicate them to the viewer, and I will now move it around a bit so that it is easier to visualize. 